Hi there. Tonight, we're going to be checking out something that up until very recently, I had no idea existed. This is 1994 Fleer Sunoco baseball cards. Now, in my collecting as a kid, I had pretty much given up on baseball cards by 1994. But even in getting back into the junk wax cards of my childhood, uh, and becoming familiar with 1994 Fleer, which uh, is a nice card. I really like it. Uh, nice and clean with white borders uh, and good crisp photography. Even in re uh, reacquainting myself with cards from this era, I did not know of this subset of cards, the 1994 Sunoco baseball cards. Part of that is likely because I live on the West Coast, where Sunoco or Atlantic affiliate gas stations don't really exist. So I never would have even seen these in 94. Uh, but apparently, if you filled up at a Sunoco affiliate gas station, you could get or you would get a free pack of five cards in this subset. And these were special made for Sunoco. Um, only 25 cards in the set, and they're all stars and star rookies from that era. Um, they look very, very similar to 94 Fleer, uh, as you can see side by side. The Sunoco cards do not have uh, gold foil on the names at the bottom, as you can see there. Uh, and then on the back, you can see on the bottom corner, the Sunoco cards have... Uh, a number of 25 and the, the Sunoco Atlantic marks but otherwise more or less these are nearly identical to 1994 Flair baseball cards different photos they don't share the same photos for the same players but uh, you could easily uh, mix them up in 94 Flair if you weren't paying attention so uh, Tonight, I'd like to do something uh, I've never done before. Uh, the set of Sunoco cards uh, includes 25 cards, including this checklist. Uh, and what I would like to do, thanks to a friend of mine who hooked me up with not one, but 70 packs of... Sunoco baseball cards. I would like to open packs tonight and see if I can accumulate an entire set of 1994 Sunoco baseball cards. There's 25 cards in the set. Um, I have enough cards here for about 14 sets in total, although I uh, would be surprised. Uh, I can guarantee you I'm not going to get enough of a distribution to make that exactly that many sets but I want to see how many of these packs it's going to take me to make a set of Sunoco baseball cards so I'm going to put the checklist up here just so for my own reference and let's go ahead give this a whirl this might be a horrible idea I don't know but I thought with all these packs kind of I thought it would be fun to just see if we can do it, see if we can make a set. So we start out with Roger Clemens, and he's card number seven. We've got here Len Dykstra, he's card number nine. Got Tom Glavin, card number 11. Oh, and look, we've already got a double in the same pack, Len Dykstra, number nine. I'm going to put the doubles off to the side and Kirby Puckett number 21. So I'm just kind of roughly putting them here on the table in their order as we get closer to Let's see how we do. And we've got a John Crook, he's card number 15. We've got a Don Mattingly, card number 17. We've got that John Olerud, card number 19. Those are kind of higher up in the set. 
Oh, we've got another Clemens. And we've got another Dykstra. All right, pack number three. And I always liked, uh, when I was collecting, oh, here we go, a Griffey, number 13. When I was a kid, I always liked anytime you get free cards, that just would make my day. I would actually try and, I remember when uh, you can get them in, there's a Juan Gonzalez, number 12, and a Cecil Fielder, number 10. Okay. Um, remember, I used to go through David's sunflower seeds try and eat as many as I could because you get a free baseball card in a bag. Oh, look at that. We got Kirby Puckett on the front, Kirby Puckett on the back. So we don't need a Kirby. We do need a Tim Salmon. That is card number 22, so that's near the end. Oh, there he is. Big Hurt Frank Thomas, 23. Also near the end. Another Lenny Dykstra. Another Kirby Puckett. Holy cow, there's a ton of cards in this one. So Obviously, quality control wasn't that great in this because this isn't five. This is more than five. But lots of duplicates, too. Another Dykstra and another pocket. All right. But it feels like we're almost getting... We're making great progress and almost there, it feels like, already. Oh. oh okay, there we go. There's one we need, a Schmoltz. No, excuse me, a Maddox. And that's number 16. Jack McDowell, number 18. Another Mattingly. Another Crook. And another Griffey Jr. Got another Tim Salmon. Another Frank Thomas. There's Glavin. Let's see, did we already, we already had Glavin? Okay, Salmon, Thomas, Allrude, Glavin. Okay, let's see. Who do we need so far? We have. We need a Alomar. At least to pull one. Byerga, Bagwell, Bell. Yeah, we got a few to go. Some of the cards at the beginning of the set. Imagine filling up your gas tank and hoping you get different get different cards. Oh man, didn't get the one I want. All right, there's a fan slike. I don't think I think he's the very end of that set. Oh, here's a checklist card and another van slike and another checklist card. Yeah, see, <laughs> not really well dispersed, are they? Of course, when you've only got 25 cards in a set to shuffle. Puckett, Salmon, Thomas. Ooh, there we go. There's a Bonds. He's card number five, so he's here at the beginning. And Clemens. Clemens, Dykstra, Glavin, Salmon, Thomas. Oh, oh get another one. Darren Dalton, there's one we don't have. Number eight. Cecil. Crook. Griffey Jr. Glavin. There's a Piazza. I need that one. Okay, we got Griffey Jr. Crook. Mattingly. Oh, Carlos Bierga and Mike Piazza. Okay, so Bierga, I think, is number two. Piazza's number 20. That's back here. Okay, so let's take a quick inventory. We got two, seven, eight, five, ten, twelve, thirteen, nine. About there. Okay. So we need 
Need one. One. Two and three. Or three and four. So that's Bagwell and Bell. Alright, we're looking for Jeff Bagwell, Jay Bell, I think Joe Carter, Luke Thomas, Van Slyke, Salmon, Dykstra, Puckett. So I'm getting a lot of those. Bonds, Clemens, Dykstra, Cecil, Gonzalez. Salmon. Oh, there's Bagwell. And look at that. I only got three cards in that pack. <laughs> oh, man. I would have felt really shorted as a kid, but I got the bag while I was looking for. That's good. Don't need those guys. We're looking for Jay Bell, Joe Carter, David Justice is also there. Nope. Same, same, same. no idea where these packs came from. I mean, a friend of mine hooked me up with them, but I don't know where he got them from. I think I have an Allrude. But, uh, oh, there's Joe Carter. Looking for that one. Number six. And Darren Dalton. Alright. They seem to be more densely packed than certain players. Thomas. Checklist. Nope. Come on. Just need a David Justice and J. Bell. I think. Oh, and a Roberto Alomar. And there we go. There's Alomar. And a Bagwell. flying through these now. Sam and Thomas. A bunch of Thomas. Not that that's a bad thing. <laughs> Two all roods. Come on. Come on, Justin. short print or something no idea don't know much about these cards other than what I told you and only three in that pack what a disappointment I open all of these all of these packs and cannot complete a set I'm going to be severely severely disappointed oh there's Jay Bell okay I think I was looking for Jay Bell still so put that aside David Justice come on David Justice the odds what are the odds 
this many packs you can't get one card you're looking for although this one has more than five and still no good I'm seriously beginning to wonder, is that some sort of an error? I never made the David Justice. Man, just no luck. This seemed like such a good idea at the time. <laughs> I just, I'm being, I'm being foiled, <laughs> being embarrassed. I'm now going to have negative feelings towards the 94 Sunoco Fleer cards and specifically the David Justice card because it is nowhere to be found. I just need that one card to complete the set. How many tanks of gas? <laughs> do I have to buy to finish my set? <laughs> Good grief! Seriously, I'm gonna like finish this video and then look it up and find out that that card didn't get printed. Because there's just no way no stinking way this many packs and this many duplicates of everybody else I can't find David Justice there you are <laughs> finally finally where have you been <laughs> oh my goodness oh my goodness that was something else Okay, let's let's do this. So we got Roberto Alomar, Carlos Baerga, and then next is Jeff Bagwell, and then Jay Bell, and then Barry Bonds, Joe Carter, Roger Clemens, Darren Dalton, Lenny Dykstra, Sasa Fielder, where's Tom Glavin? Tom Glavin, there he is. Juan Gonzalez, Ken Griffey Jr., David Justice, and then somewhere here should be John Crook, Greg Maddox, Don Mattingly, Jack McDowell, John Allward. Like Piazza. That's the only one I saw that was sideways. That's really cool. Kirby Puckett. Tim Salmon. Frank Thomas. Andy Van Slyke. And the checklist card. There you have it. A complete set of 1994 Fleer Sunoco baseball cards. That was aggravating. I thought that would be more fun than that. <laughs> but that that Thomas, excuse me, that uh, Justice, impossible felt like to find. Can't imagine if some kid was trying to complete this set, had that kind of experience. But anyway, I, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that gave you a, 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 a look at... Uh, this set of cards, if you've never seen it before, 1994 Fleer Sunoco Baseball. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.